Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Swami Vijay and this is Swami Vijay speaking to you all. If you are new to my channel, my name is Swami Vijay. I teach English for class 11, 12 as well as for class 8. In this video, I am going to start next poem from Honeydew textbook for class 8 students. But before I start the lesson, let me ask you a few questions. How many of you like mathematics subject? Yes, of course, very few of you like mathematics subjects because mathematics subject is little difficult. But mathematics subject is not difficult. Teachers may not able to explain maths properly to you. Maths is a very easy subject, so don't dislike mathematics subject. Any other subject do you like? Science? Yes, most of the students like science because traveling to space, time travel, all these things comes in science fiction movies. If you like science fiction movies, automatically you like science subject. Don't you like science subject? Right. Any other subject do you like? Don't you like SST subject? Very easy subject. Yes, most of you like SST subject and of course your SST teacher also because the subject is very easy. Now in your class 8, in SST subject or social science subject, can you tell me names of some lessons? Can you tell me names of some chapters? You might have studied about Indian independence, world war, all those things comes under which part? Yes, history, correct. Have you studied about tundra vegetation, savannas, valleys, lakes? So what is the part of SST textbook which talks about all these things? Yes, geography. So in geography, we learn about oceans, we learn about continents, we learn about planet earth. Do you like SST subject? Do you like geography? If you study geography, you will come to know about how rivers are formed, how mountains are formed, how continents are formed. So don't you think geography subject is very interesting? Yes, of course, geography subject is very interesting. So in geography part of SST textbook, we study about all these things. So the name of the poem which I am going to start is Geography Lesson written by Jilfikar Goes. Geography Lesson is a poem, it's not a lesson, but the title of the poem is Geography Lessons. What is Geography? Geography is a branch of science which talks about the formation of land, formation of lakes. In higher classes, you will study all these things in Geography subject. Now without any delay, let me start the Geography Lesson poem for you. As it is a poetry, First, we have to practice loud reading. So, I am going to read out the entire poem once. If you have textbooks, open your textbooks and if you don't have textbooks, download the PDF file. I have given link in the description box below. Now, open your textbooks or download the PDF file quickly. I am going to read out the entire poem once. As it is a poem, first we have to practice loud reading. When the jet sprang into the sky, it was clear why the city had developed the way it had. Seeing it scaled six inches to the mile, there seemed an inevitability about what on ground had looked haphazard, unplanned and without style. When the jet sprang into the sky, when the jet reached 10,000 feet, it was clear why the country had cities where the rivers ran and why the valleys were populated. The logic of geography, the land and water attracted man, was clearly delineated when the jet reached 10,000 feet. When the jet rose six miles high, it was clear the earth was round and that it had more sea than land. But it was difficult to understand that men on the earth found causes to hate each other, to build walls across cities and to kill. From that height, it was not clear why. Can you imagine what your city would look like if you saw it from 10,000 feet above the ground? Neatly planned and perfect in proportion like a geometric design? It would strike you as something very different from what it actually is while you are in the thick of it. Here is a poet's description of just such a view of the city and some question that comes to his mind. The poet Jilfikar Ghosh has written the poem in a very simple language. If you read the poem two or three times, automatically you can understand what the poet wants to convey to you through this poem. Before we start the poem, let us discuss a few minutes about the introductory part given in the poem. How does your city look when you look your city at a 10,000 feet height? Students, it is very easy to understand. If you have ever traveled by flight, once the flight takes off, after a few minutes, 
minutes you can see how the city and how the people on the ground become small tiny objects that like an ants once the flight takes off. So if you have traveled by flight you can easily understand once it takes off how people on the ground look very tiny like ants. In stanza 1, poet says that when his jet sprang into the sky, from that height he could understand why his city was designed in such a way. When he was traveling in the city or through the streets of the city, he could not understand why the city was designed in a such a confusing way or in a haphazard way. But once he reaches that height, from that height, Poet could easily understand that the city has been developed and designed for the convenience and suitability of the people who are living in that city. That means we can't understand about the structure of our city in which we are living if you are living on the ground. The moment we move a little higher, automatically we can understand why the city has been designed in such a way. So in the first stanza, Poet understood the design of the city without any problem from that height. In second stanza, when his flight reaches 10,000 feet height, poet could understand why people started living in valleys and near water bodies, near rivers. It is very easy to understand from that height because people want to survive. To survive, we need water. So human beings started settling down near rivers and in valleys. Valley is a place in between two hills it's a plain area where people can easily survive. So poet could understand from 10,000 feet height the logic of geography. The logic of the geography lesson understood by poet is land and water attracted people to settle down. So from 10,000 feet height, poet understood why people settled down near rivers and in valleys. In third stanza, when jet rose to six miles above, from that height, Poet could understand that the earth is round and there is more water than land on the planet earth. So Poet understood about the structure of the city, why people settled down near the rivers and in valleys and he could understand the earth is round and there is more water on the planet earth than land. But in the last stanza, Poet failed to understand one thing. He failed to understand why people build walls and separate the land into different countries and different cities and why do people kill others. Poet can understand the construction of the city. Poet easily understood why people settle near rivers and in valleys Poet could easily understand that the earth is round and there is more water than land on the planet earth but Poet failed to understand why people hate each other, why people build walls and separate this land into different cities and countries and kill each other. Poet failed to understand why people do such kind of things and why people build walls and separate land in form of countries and cities and kill each other. Poet cannot understand why people behave in such a way, even from that height. So this is the summary of the poem, Geography Lesson. In this poem, Poet wants to convey one simple message to all the students that it is easy to understand the geography of the land. It is easy to understand the geography of the planet Earth. It is easy to understand about the stars, the galaxies and all those things. But it is very difficult to understand the human behavior on the planet Earth. So this is about the poem Geography Lesson. Now what you have to do is read the poem again aloud. Read the poem two to three times and then practice silent reading. Once you complete silent reading, then come to working with the poem. Read the questions given under the working with the poem. Read the poem again and find the answers to the questions given under working with the poem. I believe this summary will be helpful to all of you to understand this poem easily. Thanks for watching this video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Fami Vijay. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Press the bell notification so that you can receive latest updates of the information the moment I upload videos on YouTube. So thanks for watching this video. Bye bye. Take care. All the best. Stay home. Stay safe. And stay strong. All the best.